Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun Fed episode with your host Boomer. I want to wish you a happy new year. It is 2021 here. It has uh, been a great start to the day. I hope you're ready for an awesome episode. We are doing a follow-up to my number one viewed video of Slime Fun. Matter of fact, it is by far the most viewed video by double any other video I've put out. This video has the ability or the, the information here really is a game changer when it comes to being able to uh, enchant tools and to be able to move enchantments around so that you can set up what you want to be the ultimate tools, whether it's armor, weapons, uh, anything that you can enchant. And there is a game changer in here that previously was not possible. It's not possible in vanilla. And it wasn't possible in Slime Fun. In Pure Vanilla, if you want to remove enchants, up until one of the most recent updates when the Grindstone came out, you had no options. Well, with the Grindstone, you could remove all vanilla enchants. In Slime Fun, you had to disenchant her, which would let you pull all of them off, but at least keep them on a book. And then you could manipulate sometimes to put them, you know, where you wanted them to go. Well, Let's take a better look at all this, shall we? There are three different enchanting tools behind me. So let's get into this. These are the two, the first two that everybody's already used to, the disenchanter. So if I were to, let's see, let's use this pick. If I were to put that one in there with a book, depending on the number of enchantments, a level of enchantments, it might be a minute 10, it might be two and a half minutes, it might have been five, whatever it was. There's some magical formula. Don't worry about the speed. That that just, it is going to be what it is. Now, there are advanced disenchanters, and then there's an infinity disenchanter. And it, the only difference is, is the speed in which they remove the enchantments. Nothing else. They require a lot more power, of course, but then they also remove the enchantments a lot faster. And at this level, power isn't an issue. You know, when you're when you've built that infinity reactor, you, you, I'm never worrying about power again. I, I seriously doubt we're ever going to have that problem. So this is going to pull the silk touch off my diamond pick, and then I can in an anvil, I can put it back on any tool, right? I don't even need to use the enchanter. I can simply put silk touch on any tool. But let's say I wanted to, let's say your server has uh, crate keys or, legend, or legendary keys of some sort where you can get efficiency 10. That's not a vanilla enchant. So at that level, an anvil would not recognize a level 10 enchant and it would not go on. At least in theory, it should not. Now it is possible from what I've heard to alter that. Simply the easiest way to do it, if you have slime fun, would be to come and put it in an auto enchanter. And all you would do would be put your efficiency 10 book. So for example, if this were efficiency 10 and I wanted to put it on a diamond pickaxe, I'd put the diamond picks in, the book in, and within a couple of minutes, I'm gonna have a diamond pick with efficiency 10. That's the nice thing about it is that the slime fun enchants aren't limited. There's our silk touch book. Aren't limited to vanilla levels. So if I want to put my Silk Touch back on here, I can do it in here, or I could do it in the Anvil. Most people who have watched or played Slime Fun are already familiar with this. So inside Slime Fun, depending on what your server has installed, you have a number of different options. So for example, in the extra gear, if you're working on putting together a good set of armor, well, you've got all these different levels of unbreaking protection You've got a Bane in there that you could pull off, right? You got, here, we got Unbreaking 10, Sharpness 7, Sharpness 8, uh, Smite 8, Bane 8. And depending on where you go, you can pull all these off of here and create different levels of protection and Unbreaking. Um, there is a Protect 10, I believe, and there's also an Unbreaking 10. And you can actually get Unbreaking 10 from the gold boots in the armor section. And they're just 12 karat gold. That's not like it costs a whole lot to create them. Four 12 karat gold gives you unbreaking 10. 
You can pull it off of any of the gold suit. All right. Uh, you've got protection eight here. You got unbreaking six. You've got all sorts of different levels that you can get. Uh, let's see here. We have anything else that we might want here. Unbreaking nine, protection nine. So depending on whatever you want to set up in there, you can pull off. Uh, let's see here. Extra tools. No, not that one. There's one other one, I believe. No, these are all the clay tech ones. Okay. So it also works with the infinity. And we're going to talk about what this advanced disenchanter can do. So let's say you've created the world breaker. All right. Efficiency 40, fortune 20. Now let's be honest. Anything above efficiency, efficiency five, haste two, which is essentially efficiency seven, um, doesn't go any faster. Efficiency 40 is not 40. It, it's, it's going to be the same. Um, but it's like cutting with a hot knife through butter and stone. And Fortune 20, however, is a thing. Now, not in vanilla, but here it is. I hit one redstone ore with Fortune 20, and I got 36 dust. Uh, I hit one coal, and I think I got 38. So, if you're still doing mining, more old-fashioned way, and you haven't built a quarry yet, you're going to want the Fortune 20. Because it'll do wonders on diamonds and emeralds and coal and redstone and anything else that can, you know, give you a lot of drops. Now, the World Breaker tool is unbreakable, so there's no need for unbreaking, there's no need for mending. You can mine forever with this sucker. So, this is going to clear fast. But let's say you want to do something a little bit different, right? Let's say you want to take, oh, uh, where is it? The upgraded explosive pickaxe. So this clears 125 blocks at a time. It's a five by five by five tool. The downside to it is you use it 12 times or 13 times and it's gone. It's broken. So it does take a little bit of effort to create this sucker. So before we get into the disenchanter, let's look at this real fast. Let's look up this explosive pickaxe. All right, so obsidian, two TNTs, three synthetic emerald, no big deal. Once you've got the basic explosive pickaxe, which is still very little. Two ferrosilicon, two TNT, and a synthetic diamond. This is not expensive. You get a pretty good deal out of crafting this sucker. All right, so it drops 125 blocks at a time. Well, you lose one durability point for every drop. So like I said, I think it's 13 attempts and this pick is gone. So luckily, it's not too expensive to craft over a long enough period of time. But this is one where you're going to want to put Unbreaking 10 mending on it. I mean, if you really want to save it, uh, you're going to want to do that. And you could take the Fortune 20 off the World Breaker and throw it on the Explosive Pickaxe and still get the Fortune Drops. So let's work on this. Let's, let's talk about how does this work. Believe it or not, the pick isn't the hard part to craft. It's the book you need because you need the ancient books. It's not a regular book will not work. So if you put something in here, if you put the world breaker in here in a regular book and you're complaining to me why it doesn't work, I'm telling you, you will not be able to use it with a regular book. You need to put the ancient book in there. But before you do, you get to choose which enchantment you want to remove. So before we pull this off, let's look at a vanilla pick. All right. Let's say instead of Silk Touch, I want this to be a Fortune 20 pick. I would come up here and cycle through all of the enchantments that are on this tool. So if I want to take off the Silk Touch because I want to put Fortune on here, I would put an ancient book in right here. And 30 seconds later, I will have my pick without Silk Touch and a book with Silk Touch. And I can put that Silk Touch book anywhere else I want. But let's build our pick, okay? So I want to get the Unbreaking 10 off of here. And I want to get the Fortune 20 off of here. Just so you guys know, I also have a set of Infinity Boots and I want to show you something. 
It only pulls enchantments, not potion effects or not beacon effects. So if I stick this in, we all know Dolphin's Grace is not an enchantment. That's something you get in swimming close proximity with a dolphin. Fire resistance is not an enchantment. It's a potion effect. And speed three is not an enchantment. It's a potion effect or a beacon effect. Excuse me. Soul speed is an enchantment. Speed is a beacon effect. So you cannot remove effects. You can only remove enchantments. So as I cycle through this, the only enchantment that's in here is protection. That is why you can't remove the other one. There is no option to do that. Those are effects. So don't try. It won't work. Let's build our pick. So let's start by pulling off the Unbreaking 10. By the way, let's make sure I've selected it. So I want Unbreaking 10. Get our Ancient Book. And now our timer has started. So I want the Unbreaking 10. I want the Fortune 20. And we're going to add Mending to this Explosive Pick. Hopefully, as you're mining, now I've not tested this yet, the amending part of it. I have tested the ores, and I have been getting the fortune level from it. So once this comes off, what we'll do is we'll have both of these running simultaneously just to kind of speed this up. 30 seconds to wait, no big deal. All right, so now we're just going to have a pair of uh, 12 karat gold boots that, for the most part, are really worthless. And an Unbreaking 10 book, which now I can throw onto any tool. So while we're waiting for that, get our Silk Touch book and our book back from there. Let's take our Unbreaking 10 and let's put that on the Exploding Pickaxe. While that's going, let's take our World Breaker. And we want the Fortune 20. We don't need to get the efficiency on there. There's no need for it. Uh, when you're breaking 125 blocks at a crack, it's an, it's essentially it's an instant break. So let's take the World Breaker, grab another ancient book. Whoops, let's get our enchantment first. Yeah, we want the fortune. So we'll pull that off. That's going. Let's check on this. Okay. And then after that, we're going to take mending and we're going to add it to our pick. Now, you do need to be careful when re-enchanting. For example, if you have an Efficiency 10 book that you put on, a pick, for example, and you've got a book that has, let's say, Fortune 3 and Efficiency 5 on it by some chance, if you put that Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 book on after you've put on the Efficiency 10, I haven't tested it yet, but previously, before this version of this part of the plugin, the efficiency 10 would be replaced in favor of the efficiency 5. So always plan out your, your enchantments to put multi-book that you're going to lose some of them or upgrade them on first. So if you're going to put efficiency 10 and you've got a fortune 3 efficiency 5 book, put the fortune 3 on with the efficiency 5 first, then add the enchanting book with that has the efficiency 10 so you get that. All right. So where are we here? We've got, this book is now Fortune 20. We have a, still an Efficiency 40 World Breaker. Now we have Unbreaking 10. And let's go ahead and add our Fortune 20. I'm going to go ahead and make a second explosive pickaxe to take with us, just to do some comparison so you can see just how fast it breaks versus once we've got the Unbreaking 10 on there. Now, Unbreaking 10, we did some tests on this previously. Unbreaking 10 is roughly double Unbreaking 3 when it comes to extending the life of a tool or armor. Uh, so, for example, uh, that 1561 and a diamond pick with Unbreaking 3 uh, essentially is around 4,500 bricks or blocks that you can break. With Efficiency 10, I think we got around 91, 9,200 when we last fully tested out a pick on how much it would break. So we'll kind of see the difference here between no unbreaking and unbreaking 10 and see if we can try to measure 
uh, if that's changed at all along the way and just how much it's going to get. Now, the nice thing about having the mending on there, though, it's going to change it a little bit, is that if we run into coal or redstone or diamond ore, it may pick up that XP. And that's going to be the only thing I'm going to be carrying. It's going to have XP. So we'll kind of have to watch and see what we get. All right. So now we've got unbreaking 10, fortune 20. We'll go ahead and put the mending on it. Get that book out of there. Let's see, book, book, ancient. Just want to clean up my inventory a bit. And I'm going to bring some XP along with us. <coughs> Excuse me. So that we can kind of see, you know, how we can really recharge the pick on the on the, on the the fly. Um, when you use an XP collector at a grinder, for example, or I believe it's also available to use on the mob simulation chambers, where you can get these flasks of knowledge full of XP and take them with you when you go mining. So you don't have to run back to a grinder or for me to my cactus farm and get 87 levels of XP at once. Or you set up a smelter where you've got 64 furnaces all full of XP at different times. And you can recharge your picks. And whatever method, we should be able to just simply take this with us, hopefully. Now, I haven't tested this either. Um, but we're going to test it out to see if this, with mending, can repair our tool. I've got a spot we're going to teleport out to where I've been kind of playing around a little bit in the base. And we'll see just how it works. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I got a frog in my throat this morning. I've already had my coffee. I'm a little, uh, a little shocked. So like I said, the World Breaker, this thing's a cool tool. And it's essentially, like I said, no different than Efficiency 5 Haste 2. So let's teleport out to our coordinates. Let's see, minus 325, 11, minus 6. There we go. All right, so I've picked a spot specifically. This tunnel was one explosive pickaxe. Now that's a lot of mining. I mean, it did not take long at all. It was just a matter of... Gosh, it took 20 seconds maybe to clear this out. So for one, that's awesome. All right, so let's look at the World Breaker. Uh, let's see, I don't have any torches with me, so let's do this up here. All right. 60, here, let's hit one of these. This one's still got the Fortune 20 on it, right? Yeah, let's hit one of these. We've got 66 Lapis. Oh, okay, we hit two as far as I can tell and we got two, we got two stacks we got essentially a stack per ore with fortune 20 there we got one how much more did we pick up a full stack in 27 <laughs> so from what I can tell was four lapis ore we picked up five stacks four and a half stacks of lapis now, I don't need lapis so I'm just going to chuck this but just to give you an example of what that Fortune 20 does, okay? Or I saw a diamond ore in the ground. What do I have for blocks? I have 24 obsidian for some reason. Oh, yeah, last time I was down here. I saw a diamond on the ground. I want to go hit that. So Fortune 20. Now, let's just try to make sure. Whoops, hold on. Where's my regular pickaxe? I want to make sure that's the only diamond around here. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, whoops. It's a good thing I'm wearing my hazmat suit. Okay. So let's hit that one diamond with Fortune 20. Wow, only four diamonds. Let's try that again. Let's make sure... We're not going to fall into lava here. Or it's not going to fall into lava. All right. We got seven. Okay. Oh, good. There's a block down there. We can fill that in. All right. One. Okay. Whatever. Um, all right. So from five diamond ore, we got 37 diamonds. 
So, you know, with fortune, it's a chance, right? It's not a guarantee that Fortune 20 is going to give you 10 diamonds every single time. Just like Fortune 3 is not guaranteed to give you 4 diamonds every time unless you do a Mangos cheat. Alright, so let's dig in. Let's get our explosive pickaxe out here. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Where did it go? Where did I put it? There we go. Alright, so this entire tunnel was 13 hits. And left us with no pick. We've got unbreaking 10, fortune 20. So we're going to see how many hits we can get out of this. I have one torch left. Great. All right. You ready? Let's see what happens on our first one. 39 instead of 125 came off. And it's possible we might have gotten some XP from the 22 redstone we picked up. Now we know we got at least two redstone ore in this one. Let's see what happens when we hit it. Okay, we picked up 26 more redstone. And we only lost about 50. So clearly unbreaking 10 is saving more than 50% of our durability all right i'm gonna just for a second guys i'm gonna be able to light this up so you can see as we're going here all right so let's hit this a little bit more okay so three more hits let's get some torches just so we don't have a creeper sneak up on us so five hits it's lost 237 which normally would have been 625. So do the math, you know, that's roughly 40% of the durability it should have lost. And I think we probably are seeing some effect of mending. Oh, here, cool diamonds. Let's see what happens here with that fortune 20. Whoa, let's get those diamonds. Give me them. Okay, so we popped in 17 diamonds. Now, I don't know how many ore were in there. But we clearly found a lava pocket on top of it. So let's go this way, right? Let's keep going. So you can clear an insane amount really quick. Why can't I place the torch? There we go. We found a lot of coal. Great. There's some iron ore in there. Um, I'm not even able to pick up anything because I picked up so much junk so quick. So I guess ultimately my point here is that the advanced the auto advanced enchanter is giving us the ability to build some insane tools because you can pick and choose whatever you want on here all right so now let's test our ability to mend this so let's get a count on that xp durability 851 none of my tools have mending desperately need a new suit so let's see what happens. Of course. Oh, I got to put it in my offhand. There we go. All right, we can recharge it on the fly. Look at that. Here we go. How oh, nice. Look at that. It's just sweet. So whether you use the flask of knowledge or you've got XP bottles. Wow. One stack. Didn't even take a full stack to completely heal up this pick. So you want to go out and do just an insane amount of clearing. Take yourself four or five or six or eight stacks of bottles. Clear out a 25 by 25. And, and what you could do is if you want to save the ores, right? If you're worried about getting the ores, simply take diamonds and, and redstone and coal and, you know, set up six or seven of each bring an auto crafter with you if you need to craft them into blocks bring a backpack and a shulker box or you know a, yeah a backpack on a shulker box or a shulker box full of backpacks think about what you could bring back in terms of materials and how much you could clear out here just by bringing seven or eight stacks of xp with you right oh my god this is insane 
just go to town clearing out. Look, at, we'll even do it on dirt. Oh, it still clears a five by five. And just bring some torches with you so you don't get mobs sneaking up on you. But look at that. I mean, <laughs> how long would this have taken? Even with an efficiency five haste two beacon, this would have taken forever. I mean, this would have taken probably 30 minutes to clear out what I did in three. And that was taken, but I wasn't even going after it. That was just talking to you guys. That's crazy. But it's so awesome. Versus this. You know, you get a good rhythm going. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We hit dirt. Oh, no, no, no efficiency. Whereas with the explosive pickaxe, I hit dirt and it cleared out the 125 blocks. So the World Breaker is awesome. Fortune 20 is awesome. But this is not something that you're going to make at the start of the game. Right? You need infinity and void ingots. So this is something, by the time you get to this point, you're probably not mining in the world anymore. But if you still are, or you need to clear out large amounts, for me, I'm pulling Fortune 20. I'm getting the explosive pickaxe, unbreaking 10 and mending. And we're going to come out here and we're just going to beat the ground senseless. Look at that. Now, the only reason, other reason I'm bringing torches is I want to be able to see where I'm actually hitting here if I'm hitting in the center. Because if I get too far off, you know, I don't want to change my tunnel and not have a, <clears throat> a 5x5 tunnel. But put them in your offhand, right? Put them in your offhand as you're mining and place them down every other hit or something. So, um, I've been trying to think of what else that you could test this out with. And you know, a lot of times I get questions. Well, does this combination work or does that combination work? I'll tell you real simple, guys. Try it. Just do it. Stick it in there. If it works, you find out. If it doesn't, you find out. But that's the fastest way to find out. Does it work? Just do it. Stick the tool in there. Stick the armor in there. Stick the enchantment in there. And if it doesn't work, there's your answer. And if it works, awesome. <clears throat> now, the only other thing I didn't try would be putting Silk Touch on here to see if I get stone. You know what? If you want to try it, try it. Okay? I know the 3x3 three three pickaxe, if you put Silk Touch on it and you hit stone, only the block that it hits gives you uh, Silk Touch stone. The other 8 would give you cobble. It's only the one you hit. So, whether that works on the 5x5 five five the same way, I don't know. Test it. Find out. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You can take the Silk Touch right back off if it doesn't. Right? Let it rip. Guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you giving me the chance to even uh, do this follow-up with you guys here. I am excited to see the potential and what this thing can do. Um, the 3x3 three three pickaxe, which I thought was pretty cool. Well, now I've got a 5x5. Five five, unbreaking 20, or unbreaking 10, fortune 20. I mean, you talk about an insane OP pickaxe that the server could have. Man, and you know what? I'm sure there's something else that we're not even thinking of yet. This was just a basic mining tool. Think about your armor. Think about what you can do with protection 20. Or protection, although really anything above protection 5, I think, is, is really just a farce. But anyways, we're going to wrap this up. I want you guys to be able to see this today on New Year's. I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. Thank you for watching. And remember, when you play in Minecraft, man, God, you got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.